Jane. 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 Last year in Canada, there were 4,228 patients hospitalized for injuries related to their pants. That figure is up from 4,014 the previous year. A man should never be wearing only a sock. This is not an insignificant increase. Compare it to a British report showing that vegetable-related injuries were up less than one-tenth of a percent last year. Yeah, she makes men walk in a post, but she can't hit her, you know. She can. Ew. <laughs> Why have to face another one of her torts? Whoa! <clears throat> Trouser accidents are on the rise. I miss mommy. Of course, one could argue that trousers themselves are on the rise. Greek vases from the 6th century depict men in long pants. The theory is that trousers came to Asia Minor via the Persians. The Germans adopted breeches as early as 700 BC. During the French Revolution, the sans-culottes, real men with real pants, became a symbol of worker unity and a revolt. B-52s will fly a mission like 23 hours, right? <laughs> so there's a catheter. My buddy's making use of it when his heads up indicates that he's right on target. He's trying to watch his six and zip without getting piss all over the place. <laughs> he drops his bomb and he's zipping and he's trying to jink. And <laughs> he screamed like a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> of course, the most common trouser accidents are underreported. They go unrecorded and are often thought of primarily as injuries of other sorts. Well, I can't believe she went home with him. I mean, did you think he was cute? Yeah, if you like that sort of thing. No, I can't believe it. Why would a poet date a marine? Was he really in Iraq? Oh, oh Jesus, my tour. <laughs> in the last year, placemat injuries held steady. There was a slight decline in victims of brooms. Vending machine injuries reached an all-time high. So he's, he's smoking a joint at work. Mm -hmm. His boss comes in. Mm -hmm. He sets himself up on a fire. Consider, there are a significant number of injuries every year caused by bird baths, trophies, nail clippers, briefcases, salt shakers, toilet paper rolls, dentures, newspapers, remote controls, pushpins, clogs, lamps, and tea cozies. Ordinary things can be very dangerous.